Hey, what's up guys? Gear Guy here with another product review for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at this Streamlight MicroStream. Uh, from what I can tell, this is a really great little flashlight. Runs obviously on a AAA battery. Can't wait to show it to you, so make sure you stick around. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Definitely appreciate it. I know it's been a while since I've made a video, uh, but I do have a lot of content in mind, uh, things that I'm going to be doing, talking about different product reviews and some philosophy videos and things like that eventually. But for for now and today, obviously, we're going to take a look at this Streamlight MicroStream. So like I said before, great little flashlight, runs on a AAA battery. Um, I do own its big brother, the Streamlight Stylus Pro, and great flashlight. Um, and this thing's definitely no different. Granted, I haven't tested this thing for you know six months or a year or anything like that. Have carried it a little bit though, and again, like I said, I just love it. So. Let's go ahead and take a look, and like usual, we will um, we will talk specs first, and then take a look at the operation of it. All right, so we're going to set that plastic aside, and. Here is your instruction booklet. Pretty straightforward, talks about their warranty, all that good stuff that most people don't really care too much about. Um, this is actually really cool, guys. It does come with a lanyard that you can use. Uh, makes it a really good little, uh, little neck light if you wanted to carry it in such a way, so that's pretty cool. And just to show you, here on the end, don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but you do have a have a little split ring um, that you could use, thread it up, thread it up through there and carry that way. So let's go ahead and open it up and throw the battery in. So while I'm doing this, um, I'll talk about some of the specs real quick. It is made out of aluminum. Um, there you go. You can see it on now. Uh, it is made of anodized aluminum with a stainless pocket clip. The aluminum is kind of a matte finish. It's not glossy or anything like that, which is, which is nice. It is just slightly over three inches in length, and then we'll go ahead and weigh it. Zero out. Obviously the battery is in 1.2 ounces with the battery. 1.2, so 1.2 ounces with the battery. Um, really, really lightweight, obviously. Um, Obviously, your um, your weight is going to fluctuate dependent on the battery that you're using, of course. So, um, it is water resistant, which is to me a little bit of a letdown. Uh, Streamlight, yeah, I mean, it's to be such a name, uh, a a good quality brand, you would think that it would be waterproof. However, it's only IPX4 rated. Uh, so it isn't technically waterproof, which, like I said before, is a, a little bit of a letdown. Uh, maximum lumen is 45, and you do get a 2 hour and 15 minute run time at that, uh, at that output level. Um, the battery, or not the battery, excuse me, the... Um, the LED that it's using, I'm not really sure. 
um, as to what what the actual LED is. Um, like I said, I, I apologize for that, but you can you can see it down in there. You do have a smooth reflector, so do get a little bit of a hot spot in the center with some flood around it. Um, one of the things that I do like about this light is it does have momentary functionality. I absolutely love that in the light. Um, to be honest with you, I, I prefer it. So, you can kind of half press and it'll just briefly come on. Like I said, I, personally, I, I really like that. Um, the button or the, the switch does extend beyond the tail cap, so not going to be able to tail stand it, which is a little bit of a letdown. Another thing that I did notice, I don't know if it, you know, if it may loosen over time or anything, um, but one of the things I definitely did note that is kind of frustrating is how hard it is to click it. Um, I mean, you really have to put some force behind that, so. It, and the bad thing is you can't really do it with the pad of your finger I mean I'm, I'm pushing as hard as I can there you go and it's really really hard you have to do it with the tip of your thumb that's frustrating um, just to be completely honest with you like I said that may very well loosen up over time Obviously, I'm not sure. I'll probably do an update video, you know, in six months or so after I've carried it a few times, just to, just to see. Um, but as of right now, it does does make it pretty difficult to operate. And um, like I said, I'm not really really fond of that. So, just a single mode. And that's it. Um, just that 45 lumen setting. Perfect little backup EDC light um, when you don't want to melt somebody's face with 1500 lumens or something crazy like that so um, nice lightweight little gentleman's flashlight so to speak um, but it's it's plenty bright to do what you need it to do um, and again my only complaint my only real complaint is the switch and how difficult it is to actuate it so that's pretty much it guys in a nutshell um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do now um, I actually recently moved and instead of doing beam shots indoors like I have been um, I do have the ability now to do some outside so we're gonna take it outside and do a couple beam shots not sure if anything will actually show up or not because it it is so such a dim light underpowered light but we'll at least give it a shot so we will go ahead and do that now. All right, everybody. We're outside right now with the uh, with the micro stream. Just to let you know, there are some trees about 25 yards or so away. Um, we're going to see if the light will pick them up. Um, do want to let you know, it's pro the camera's probably not going to pick it up. I've tested a couple other different lights. Um, before this one and this one's a lot dimmer than those so we'll see how it does so go ahead and turn it on click it there you go you can just barely see the outline outlines of the trees in the in the camera so again like I said those are about 25 yards away um, to the naked eye though um, makes them out really really well no hot spot really really large um, large flood and that's it just the one mode of course so you can see not much but it definitely lights the area up pretty well so Again, guys, Streamlight Micro Stream, great flashlight. I love it. Um, I'm gonna probably gonna wear it around my neck pretty consistently since it comes with this lanyard, and I'll probably report back in six months or so. So, 
want to thank you guys for watching the video. Definitely appreciate you spending your time with me. If you haven't already, please like this video. Uh, subscribe if you haven't as well. Also, feel free to share it. And again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.